Today we will talk about how to handle taxes for a late backdoor Roth IRA using TurboTax. First, I'll give a crash course on what a late backdoor Roth IRA is. Second, I'll go through the Form 8606s that you need to file for the appropriate years. And lastly, I will show you how to do that with TurboTax. Before we start, I would like to give credit to a blogger called White Coat Investor. The content that you will see in this video today is based off of that. And before we begin, I want to make a disclaimer. I am not a tax or financial professional and I will not be responsible for any outcome that you may encounter. Please check with your CPA. Okay, first off, the crash course. Please keep ahead using the timestamps below if you already know what the backdoor Roth IRA is. To understand what constitutes as a late backdoor Roth IRA, you need to understand what a backdoor Roth IRA is first. The move involves one, contributing post-tax money to a traditional IRA and then converting said money into a Roth IRA. This is a hack for high income earners to work around the income limits of the Roth IRA. A late backdoor Roth IRA is when the following happens. Let's first look from the perspective of time. We have year X and year X plus one. You can contribute to a traditional IRA for year X in January to April 15 of year X plus one. So let's say you did that and then did the conversion to Roth IRA in year X plus one. That's a late backdoor Roth IRA. For taxes, a Form 8606 needs to be filed to report matters relating to the traditional or Roth IRA. I will show you how they should be filed and how to use TurboTax to do that. But before that, we need to set up the scenario. Starting from the perspective of time, let's consider three years. Year X, year X minus one, and your X plus one. You contributed $6,000 to your traditional IRA for year X minus one in year X. Let's call this action one. And then converted that $6,000 to a Roth IRA in year X. Let's call this action two. That's the late backdoor Roth IRA conversion. But you would also like to perform another normal backdoor Roth IRA in year X. So again, you contributed $6,000 to a traditional IRA in year X and did the conversion to Roth IRA also in year X. Let's call the former action 3 and the latter action 4. In both backdoor Roth IRA conversions, let's assume you did not let the money in your traditional IRA grow in value. There will be two years where you need to file the Form 8606. On year X, you need to report the late contributions to the traditional IRA. And in year X plus one, you need to report the remaining actions. Okay, let's dive right in. In year X, you need to file taxes for year X minus one. So you need to report the late contributions to the traditional IRA. So here's a form 8606. Let's walk through line by line how you should do it. Line one says to report your non-deductible contributions to a traditional IRA for year X minus one, including those late contributions. 6,000. Line two, total basis in your traditional IRAs from previous years, meaning money you have in your traditional IRA on the last day of year X minus two. Let's make this example easy. So this is a zero. Okay, line three says to add lines one and two. That should give us 6,000. And then over here, there's a question that says in a year X minus one, did you take a distribution from a traditional set or simple IRAs or make a Roth IRA conversion? We did not do that in year X minus one. So the answer is no. If it's a no, enter the amount from line three on line 14 and do not complete the rest of part one, scroll all the way down to line 14, $6,000. So this $6,000 now will be your basis for year X and beyond. So that's it. You have done filing taxes for year X minus one. Since there was no Roth IRA conversion done in year X minus one, there is no need for part two to be filled out. Fast forward to year X plus one, where you will be filing taxes for year X, you need to report actions two, three, and four. 
please refer to the actions as shown in the picture. Again, let's walk through the form 8606 line by line. Again, in line 1, you have to report your non-deductible contributions to a traditional IRA for year X including any late contributions. This we will now have to report action 3 which was $6,000 contribution. Line 2, enter your total basis in uh, the traditional IRAs. This refers to your basis from the past year which you can get from line 14 of the form 8606 from the previous year, $6,000. Line 3, add lines 1 and 2, so let's do that. That brings us to $12,000. And then in this question here, we did make a Roth IRA conversion. If it's a yes, we go to line 4. So line 4, enter those contributions included on line 1 that were made from January 1 of year X plus 1 to April 18 of year X plus 1. According to the scenario we set up, no, we did a clean plan backdoor Roth IRA in year X. So this is a zero. Line 5, subtract line 4 from line 3. If we subtract zero from 12,000, that should give us a 12,000. For line 6 to 12, I have seen TurboTax skipping them and just populating line 13 based on the taxable IRA distribution worksheet that I have pulled up here. I will walk through the two routes nonetheless. So starting with the route where we go through line 6 and 12. On line 6, that's where you have to enter the value of all your traditional SEP and simple IRAs as of December 31st of year X. In our scenario, we have a zero. And then line 7, enter your distributions from traditional SEP and simple IRAs in year X. Since this says to exclude any conversions into a Roth IRA, so therefore line 7 will also be a zero. Line 8 tells you to enter the total amount that you have converted from a traditional IRA into a Roth IRA in year X, 12,000. At lines 6, 7, and 8, 0, 0, 12,000. So line 9 will be 12,000. Line 10 says to divide line 5 by line 9. 12,000 divided by 12,000. Therefore, we get a 1. Enter them to the 3 decimal places. Line 11 says to multiply line 8 by line 10. Line 8 was a 12,000. Line 10 is a 1. So we get a 12. Thousand on line 11. According to this, it says that this is the non-taxable portion of the amount you convert into the IRA. Also enter this amount on line 17. We will hold on to that for now and look at that later. Okay, line 12 says to multiply line 7 by line 10. Line 7 is a 0, line 10 is 1. So therefore, this is a 0. And this is saying this is the non-taxable portion of your traditional IRA distributions. Line 13 says to add lines 11 and 12, non-taxable portion of all your traditional IRA distributions. 11 is a 12,000, 12 is a 0, so line 13 becomes 12,000. So that's the first route where you go through line 6 to line 12. However, if you go through the worksheet route, here's how to make sense of the number on line 13. Okay, let's switch gears to this worksheet here. This is the worksheet to figure out the taxable portion of your traditional IRA distribution. Let's dive right in here. Line 1 says the basis of your traditional IRA in year X minus 1. So this should have been 6,000. Line 2, total contributions made to your traditional IRA in year X, 6,000, which corresponds to action 3. Okay, line 3 says to add lines 1 and 2, 12,000 here. Line 4, line 4, value of your traditional IRA at the end of year X, uh, which according to our scenario is a 0. Line 5 says to enter the total distributions from your traditional IRA in year X. We took out 12,000 from the traditional IRA and converted it into the Roth IRA. So 12,000 goes here. Line six adds line four and five, 12,000 here. Line seven says to divide line three by line six. So divide 12,000 by 12,000. So that should give us a one. 
Line 8 is the non-taxable portion of the distribution and it is telling us to multiply line 5 by line 7. So line 5 is 12,000 and line 7 is 1. 12,000 here. Here the instruction says to enter the result here on lines 13 and 17 of form 8606. So that is how the 12,000 can appear here on lines 13 on form 8606 without uh, line 6 to 12 being filled out. Okay, now with the two routes explained, let's go back to the form 8606 and carry on to line 14. Line 14, the instruction is to subtract line 13 from line 3. Line 13 is a 12,000, line 3 is a 12,000, so subtracting 12,000 from 12,000 is a 0. And again, this is the basis of your traditional IRA for the next year. Line 15a, subtract line 12 from line 7. Again here, since there is a dependency on line 12, I will have to walk through the two paths again. First being where we filled out uh, line 6 to line 12 of this form. And the second path will be to use uh, this worksheet here. Okay, so path number 1. Subtract line 12 from line 7. Assuming we had line 12 filled out, line 12 was a 0 and line 7 is also 0. Therefore, we get a 0 in 15a. Let's switch gears and go to the worksheet and see how they will calculate the value for line 15a. Picking up from where we left off, line 9 says taxable portion of the distribution of your traditional IRA. Subtract line 8 from line 5. Take 12,000 and subtract that from line 5 which is a 12,000. Zero here. And then according to this instruction here, if there are no amounts converted to a Roth IRA, stop here and enter the result on line 15a. Since we did a Roth IRA conversion, let's move forward. Line 10. Enter the amount included on line 9 that is allocable to amounts converted to Roth IRA. Since uh, line 9 is a 0, there is no amount to convert from a 0, so this should also be a 0. Move on to line 11, the taxable portion of the distribution. Subtract line 10 from line 9, 0 minus 0 is a 0. And then enter the result on line 15a of form 8606. So let's jump back to the form 8606. So that is where you'll get the 0 from the two uh, methods. Moving on, on line 15b, enter the amount on line 15a attributable to a qualified disaster distribution. For most of us, I'm going to assume that's a 0 here. For line 15c, what is the taxable amount of your traditional IRA distribution? Subtract line 15b from 15a and this will give us a 0. Okay. So that is part 1 of the form 8606. Moving on to part 2. This is where you will report any conversions from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. Line 16. Enter the amount from line 8. Our line 8 is a 12,000. So 12,000 goes here. Line 17. If you completed part 1, enter the amount from line 11. Alright, so that's 12,000 here. Again, if you did not fill out line 6 to line 12 in the part 1, uh, this number can also come from the worksheet. On line 8, it says to enter the result on lines 13 and lines 17 of form 8606. And see here, it's a 12,000. So everything matches up. And last but not least, for line 18, taxable amount, the instruction here is to subtract line 17 from line 16. So 12,000 minus 12,000, that's a zero. We can ignore part three as we did not take anything out from our Roth IRA. So there it is, the form 8606s for the two years which you will need to file. Okay, next, since most of us file taxes today using a software like TurboTax and don't fill out the forms manually. Let's take a look at how we can input our information into TurboTax to generate the proper form 8606s. In year X, when we file taxes for year X minus 1, we need to tell TurboTax that we did a late contribution to a traditional IRA. In the TurboTax homepage, look for deduction and credits. 
go ahead and click on that and then look for traditional and Roth IRA contributions. On the right of that, click on start. Now we will answer some basic questions here. Here TurboTax is asking which IRA did we contribute for year X minus 1. Click on traditional IRA. Did you contribute to a traditional IRA? Yes. Is this a repayment of a retirement distribution? No here. Enter 6000 here for the amount that we contribute to a traditional IRA. And then since we contributed late, go ahead and fill a 6000 here as well. No recharacterizations. So no. Are you covered by a retirement plan at work? Answer accordingly. Any excess IRA contributions according to our scenario? No. Any non-deductible contributions to a traditional IRA from year X minus 2 or B4? Answer accordingly. If this is your first time doing the backdoor Roth IRA, it should be a no. However, if you have done backdoor Roth IRAs in the past, then it should be a yes. This is your traditional IRA basis from year X minus 2. According to our scenario, it is a zero. The balance you have in your traditional IRA by the end of year X minus 1. Zero. Okay, that's it. When you are done filing your taxes for year X minus 1, before submitting them, you can review them on TurboTax to make sure that the Form 8606 generated matches the example that we walked through earlier for year X minus 1. All right. Fast forward to year X plus 1 where now you will file taxes for year X. We have to tell TurboTax that we did the three actions. Again, refer to the picture somewhere here for what they are. To report action 3, which is the contribution to traditional IRA in year X, we repeat the same steps earlier, but there will be two differences. Number one, when on this page, we input zero for late contributions. And when we are asked about our traditional RA basis, this is the basis carried forward from the previous year, year X minus one. You can get this number from line 14 of the form 8606 of year X minus one. So this should be a 6,000 here. So let's go ahead and put that there. Okay, now that the contribution to a traditional IRA reporting is done, we have to report the two Roth IRA conversions that you made in year X. Click on wages and income, look for retirement plans and social security. Next to IRA, 401k and pension plans, click on start. Here TurboTax is asking for your form 1099R provided by your IRA provider. You can input it however you like, but for the sake of this presentation, I will just type it in manually myself. Disclaimer here, I have never seen a 1099R that captures a late backdoor Roth IRA since I've never done one myself before. But the following is my best informed guess. So take it as a reference and consult with your CPA for any professional checking. If you imported your traditional IRA provider's information, this information will be automatically populated. So I will skip this here. Next, the details. For those of you that did a late backdoor Roth IRA, you can just fill out the details here according to the form that you receive. Box 1 is the gross distribution, i.e. the money you took out from your traditional IRA in year X, and that should equate to $12,000. Box 2A is the taxable amount of that distribution. Based on my past experience with a clean backdoor Roth IRA, this amount usually matches box 1, so this should be 12,000 here. Box 2B, taxable amount not determined, should be checked. Not sure about this box here on total distribution, but you can follow your form 1099R. Box 3 to 6 should be 0. Box 7, distribution code should be 2, indicating an early distribution. And then the RA slash SEP slash simple box should be checked or follow whatever you see on your Form 1099-R. Now, that should be it. I don't anticipate any non-zero values for the rest of the Form 1099-R. Hit continue here and then answer a bunch of questions. Here, check all the situation that applies to you. I'm hitting none here. We converted the money from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA, so check 
I converted some or all of it to Roth IRA. We did convert all $12,000, so yes. Continue on. Have we taken a disaster distribution? Mostly for us, no. Any non-deductible contribution to traditional IRA from year X minus 1 or prior years here, a year's here. And then next, your traditional IRA basis from year X minus 1. This value comes from line 14 of form 8606 of year X minus 1. 6,000 goes here. Any balance on traditional, SEP or simple IRA on the last day of year X? According to our scenario, no. So all zeros here. And that should be it. We have told TurboTax all the three actions that we did in year X. Again, after you have done with all your taxes and before submitting, you can review the forms that are being generated by TurboTax. Make sure to check the generated form against the example that we walked through earlier and they should match. If you want to know how to do taxes on a clean backdoor Roth IRA, you can click on here. While it's tax time, please also watch out for possible errors in your RSU taxes. You may be overpaying taxes there. Click on this video here to learn how you can avoid that. And I'll see you there. Thank you.